Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and welcome to my Audacity Noisegate beginner tutorial. Check out my Audacity Ultimate course for beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. So let's dive in. Audacity has a decent noise gate now integrated. It's pretty cool and it will help you remove a lot of background noise. If I play this recording from my mobile. Hello, this is Mike and I'm recording on. You can hear there's a lot of fan noise in the background here. Let's loop this round. You can definitely hear that. Let's loop a very small sample. And let's look at those level meters there. So you can see that they're peaking around here, but the highest they go to is about here where the blue mark is. So just below minus 42, I'd say that's minus 43, minus 44 maybe. And that's an important number to remember when we set up our noise gate. So I double click to select all the audio, then go to effect and noise gate down here. So this is where I need to put the magic number. Gate threshold will be minus, well, let's be safe and say minus 42. Anything that falls below minus 42 on this level meter will be silenced. And that's just what we want. Let's see what this setting does so far. Hello, this is Mike and I'm recording on my mobile inside my studio. Pretty good so far. So far, so good. We'll leave the gate frequencies above. We don't need to do anything like that. No more level reduction. Attack, we want to be really fast. Hold, we want to be around 50. That's a good place for it to be. That will give some leeway on the edge of words not cutting them off abruptly. And decay, we can leave at 100. Click apply and boom, it's done. Now let's play back the start of that clip on loop. And there's no audio. The noise gate has absolutely silenced it all out. Now, obviously when I still play the audio back, Hello, this is Mike. You can still hear a bit of background noise. And that's where using a noise gate in tandem with noise reduction in Audacity, you can get a really good, clean sounding audio file. But that's a basic introduction to how you'd set a noise gate, loop around some of the area where it should be silent, take a reading on the level meters at the rough decibel level, put that in as your threshold, and you'll have an ace noise gate ready to go. Let me know your questions in the comments down below. And remember, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials just like this one. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Radio Creative.com